time. Hey. Come on. Time to lay it out for those little idiots. Their 15 minutes is up. Hey, so what's the plan? Simple. We get in the club, find the little slut's dressing room, do our thing, Delta. Thing is, I can't be seen. Not about to give him any free PR. Uh-huh. Pretty sure he gave him enough already. Burning truck was everywhere. All the sheets, all the feeds. Don't get smart. Tell me how we get inside. Look, sometimes simplest is best. We just buy tickets. Okay. First, you whacked? Not about to let those bitches make an any off of me. Second, it's sold out. Cool. I'll find a way in anyway. Let's look around. V! That's your ass for fucking Sector D. Come on. Yeah, you're angling for windfall, but you're gonna be left holding those tickets looking droopy like a flaccid prick. You heard my price. Take it or beat it. Fuck. Fucking gaunt. Told you we should have gotten them on presale. That much demand for this stupid show? Put it to you this way. Two weeks ago, Lizzy Wizzy's gig, even those ticks didn't go as fast. People gonking over us cracks. Can't get enough. People are single cell amoebas. Swarm anything advertisers throw at them. Whatever, but I'm down to my last two. Want them or what? How much for ticks? V, hey, what'd I tell you? Triple the box office, and they're yours. Shoot, nobody gonna pay that. Nobody. Well, gonna be left with nothing to do but shove him right up your ass. Your loss. That much? <laughs> Dream on, man. No problem. You wanna see that concert? You gotta play nice. Won't get tickets anywhere else. Japanese markers. How the fuck am I supposed to know what goes where? That's it. Fuck it. I'm going back to install the beat cable. You're probably gonna send Ronnie over to Europe. You tell him you were pregnant? Sure, but he can't opt out. Oh, it's not that bad. They locked mine up with the Echo was barely one. Look how he turned out without a father. We have a today, Nikuri. Oh, wait. This is special boy from Foundation Organization? Now, we're gonna chat. Who the fuck are you? The fucking guy you robbed! Carrie, you're a dime. Carrie, son! I ain't your son. This ain't a meet and greet either. Hey! 
Hear him out. This is all a misunderstanding. Clear it up, and we're gone. But, Carrie-san, what happened? We had a deal, didn't we? Oh my god. Is this about that N54 interview? We, like, didn't mean to offend or anything. Old doesn't mean anything anymore. No wonder the truck didn't get to him. Even dumber than I thought. Wait, wait, wait. What's this about a deal? We signed a deal with MSM to play Carrie Sans user friendly. It's like our new single for the North American leg of the tour. Over my dead body. But we're going to bring your rock into a new era. Isn't that what you want? Rock? You? Okay, let me tell you something. It's been claimed before, but you actually did it. Rock is dead, and you killed it? Congratulations! Your manager contacted ours, said you wanted to work with us. Kovacek? The, the fuck? He, he never even asked me. The fucking corpo cuntbag. Listen, Carrie san that cover is an expression of our love for you. Please, let's work something out. Rock might be dead, but Carrie's blind if he can't see these girls got potential. Looks like the label fucked you all. You're their pawns. They're playing you. Looks that way. Fuck. You know, got nothing against you. The sitch. That's what's fucked. Well, you chained your gonk ass to the corpos. What'd you expect? We'll talk to the label, Carrie son But right now, we'll make our displeasure known. Your song's not in the set. We're calling off the concert and suspending the tour. Seriously? You'll lose millions. They'll lose even more. Well... Okay. You girls... You're all right. What I said earlier, I... No biggie, carrie son even monkeys fall from trees. Right. Let's go, V. Wait! Carrie-san, can we get a pic with you? Just as a souvenir? Um... Why the hell not? V, do the honors? Hang on, let's get a selfie. All right, think we got it. Thanks, Carrie son. Um, so, you working on any new songs? We could maybe pick one for your single. You're gonna stick around some, V. I mean, look at him. The girls need help. Thanks. Hmm. Have fun. Carrie-san, maybe you'd like 
Want to hear about our new single? About? Come on, talking about music's like fucking in a bed of azaleas. Unnecessary, uncomfortable, and ultimately, kits is all fucking get out. Huh. I kind of like azaleas. Harry, hey. You got plans this evening? Can't. Go to Dark Matter on Woodland. You might not know the place. Don't really advertise. Oh, it's the occasion. Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go around back and tell the bouncer you're with me. I'll let you in, no problem. Don't be late. This elevator is out of order. Sorry. It's out of order. Why are you here? Out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. Truth. Now, girl, how was it to work with the legendary Carrie Uridine? Teddy son is the most sweet, most lovely man in the world. We met Teddy son. Come to the dressing room. Love. Over here! Here! Thank you! You're breathtaking, you. Carrie! You're breathtaking. Hey! 
This is V, my, uh, right hand. V's the little bird that shows up when I gotta wrap up and run. Sorry. V, V, quick question. What's it like hanging with Kerry Uridine, a living legend? No comment. Thanks, but I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. You try. Pretty sweet. Oh, thank you to Kerry san his Roka Boy charm and energy. Kerry help us see all what Night City is. It must be it. Super awesome fun. Hey, come with me. I want you to meet some. V. Inspector. His old friend. Met him walking in Memphis. Off Beal. Ages ago. Hey. He's got preem stuff. Give your friends and family discount, too. Of course, Mr. Uridine. Special rate for your friends. Be back later. We'll talk this. Sure thing. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Kerr. Decent show. Now that that's behind us, what's Kerr Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. You'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Don't let it go to your head. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Well? Only place you fall asleep thinking you're special than wake up knowing you're no one. Carrie, can see something's eating you. Keep thinking about our conversation at Caliente. Us cracks, you and the slaves to the corpo grind? Yeah. Guess I wasn't completely honest with you. Or myself, for that matter. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. But I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. Johnny figured you'd chickened out. Couldn't take the pressure, so you left Samurai. Yeah, I know. But he was wrong. Decided to start fighting for myself. Still keeping that up. Night City's a city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. I still got a lot to prove to this city, but you... You're at the top. City's yours. What's there to be afraid of? Yeah, we'll talk about this again someday. Once you're in my shoes. Think it's in the cards for me? You're strong. The city couldn't swallow you if it tried. 
Should get back. Everyone downstairs is waiting. For you? I know, I know. In the knock back a few to this town tonight. And me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. Hey, hey. Drop whatever you're doing. Meet me at the marina. Don't make me wait. Say no more. On my way. In for a real treat, V. Uh, Night City Marina. Pier 4. Scallywag. Care to come aboard? Nice dinghy you got here. She's a beaut, all right. Plenty of them sitting around, but I bet most never leave the marina. Get a feeling you got other plans. Thought I'd kidnap you for a few hours. Have some fun. What's the occasion? New beginnings... ...and life's loops. Life's loops? V, please don't make me ruin the surprise. You coming or not? Okay, yeah. Sounds promising. I'm in. Music to my fucking ears! Off we go! Now if I can find that button to raise and... Dad... ...fucking... ...Samurai. All ahead! Hey, your song? Don't recognize it. Cause it's new. Riff's been... Bounce around my skull for a while now. I feel like I'm onto something really special here. Nice axe. It's a Lancaster, custom built. Only five ever made in this series. I got one. Militech Chief's got another. The other three, yeah, fuck if I know. It's tailored with a reverse polarity pickup. Ebony frets and one silky smooth Kaimar vibrato. And see this rusty color on the strings? It's supposed to be the blood of legendary blues man Dennis Ford himself. Okay, so let me hear what this is all about. 
Like I said, life's loops. Um, breakfast cereal? No, 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 no. Loops. Cycles. One chapter ends, another begins. Life's full of them. At least my guru tells me so. Your guru? Yeah. I got spiritual needs. Visit Kian every couple of years. You know, he's got this yurt in Tangland. Middle of fucking nowhere. Off grid, net blockers included. Our last meet, Kian told me that the time for closure, loop completion, might come. That's why we're here. You and me. This closure got anything to do with Johnny? With you battling shadows? Uh, nah. No. Uh, no, maybe a bit. Because, you know, managed well without him. Built my career. Made my fortune. Me. But damn it. No matter how hard I try, I can't forget him. I'd rip him out of my head if I fucking could. Think I know the feeling. All right. Tell me about these loops. Okay. So, first tune I ever wrote that was worth a damn, I wrote it to see. And you notice? Fingers are on to something fresh again today. There's a loop for you. What was that little number? I know it. Bleed the beat. I wrote it during a cruise ship game. The decks, pools, more pools, buffets, shrimp, you know, bells and whistles. Everybody thinks the song's about sticking it to corporo fascistas. But actually, it's... Didn't just make music on that boat. Busted my ass, serving drinks, waiting tables. Free time, I, I composed till my fingers bled. I had to watch out not to stain their precious porcelain. And there it is. A song about bleeding in service of the rich. People hear what they want to hear, though. But man, was that a hit. One of Samurai's biggest. Just like this one will be. Fresh. Raw. Real. And you needed company for that? Don't say it like that. But think about that us cracks fiasco lately. About how you help me. A lot. You shake things up, V. Before you came along, I was stuck in the mud. And now? Got me thinking about a new song. A new album, even. A real fucking... Rasher with a new soul. Like everything from now on. Had what I think folks call an epiphany. That eh, could just be what folks call maturity. You'll see. No more mayhem, no more shady ass schemes. Done with that. Well, starting tomorrow. Freedom! 
You gonna fucking help me? Or just stand there like a gawk? Chaos and destruction? Why the fuck not? Grab something heavy. No regrets after? Owning a trashed yacht? My yacht? Honestly think I'd name my boat Seamurai. Fuck. Who's the fuck is it? That head motherfucker, L.B. Kovacek. Kovacek? That Kovacek? Mm-hmm. Never got a chance to properly thank him for the awesome crack shit and a few other things. Do something and smash it. This one's on L.B. Okay, let's rip this boat to shreds. Well, well. Finally ready to party. Either he's gone senile or he's finally wising the fuck up. Could be either. No, thanks, me. I'm all right. Still got a little left in you? Remember when you woke up in that scrapyard? That's where he is now, being reborn with fuck all to stop it. It's time for the grand finale. Do the honors, B. Huh. Baptism by fire and water. A fucking man. Your party, Care. Only you can end it. Fucking A. No point living if you're not going full blast. Suck on this, Kovacek! Race to the beach! I ought to start using my own pool more often. Come here, kid. Just hold your breath a little ways. Reek something real. What if it don't blow? Take that back. I think I should have loaded more barrels. Or come with Black Market C6. What do you think? Not bad. It was fucking wild. That's what I need. To settle that score? Mm. To mark a new beginning. Thanks, V. Ah, oh, hell of a night, huh? Felt like Samurai's first few gigs. A little sloppy, man. The energy was fucking raw. <laughs> a nice twist of events. Gotta admit. All right. Let's get out of here before the wind flips and we get flooded by that stench. Need a ride? Of course I do. Come on, then.
whole of Night City knows you. What's cracking? I've got a problem. I mean, you're not calling to ask me to be your backup dancer? I'm just, just kidding. What can I do you for? It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. I've been getting death threats. A lot of them. All sent to my private address. I'm also being followed. I can't just wait around until something bad happens. We have to find him and, and deal with him. I don't know how much you charge me, but I'm prepared to pay whatever the cost. Believe me. Our guy. You know anything about him? Nothing. Only that he signs his letters GC. Hmm. Not much to go on. Boo nonetheless. How do you know the threat's real and not just a joke in poor taste? V. That last letter I got was a bomb. Security got to it first, of course, but... <sighs> you see what I'm dealing with? Uh-huh. Doesn't get more real than that. Can't your bandmates do anything about it? You seem like a bunch of girls who can take care of themselves. V, I don't even know what this guy looks like. We need to catch him in the act. Like, quietly. As for us, you said it yourself. The whole city knows our faces. Happy to help out. Gary was right. You're like super chill. So, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not killing anyone here. That would be bad for the band's like PR and stuff. All we want to do is teach him a lesson. Whatever. You make the rules. Awesome! So, just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. Wherever you are. Whatever the threat. Spook our guy. Keep your eyes peeled for anyone lurking around. Watching me, spying on me from above. Whatever. Anything creepy like that. Got it. <sighs> okay. Here it goes. Red Menace is keeping an extra lookout from a vantage point high up. Wish me luck. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can I get a picture? 
picture with you. I'm a huge fan. Sure! What's your name? Green Cloud. I'm a kid, huh? I gave you everything! Everything! I don't even know who you are! V? V? Help! Oh my god, V! Thank you, thank you so much! Don't mention it what I was paid to do. A girl like that. Who'd have thought? What... What do we do now? Wait till the Badgers get here. But... What about when they let her out? Or, or she escapes? Then you give me another call. Okay. You're right. I... Thank you. For everything. I'll transfer your Eddie soon. Promise. Go get a stiff drink. Cool your nerves. Take care, Blue Moon. Now that that's over, you'll... Ugh. T-Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned. Like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. You know what that feels like? Mm. Can't say I do. 
They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to go. Poor girl. I liked her, too. Got anything Nova for sale? If you can afford it, yes. Try ours today! So my tattoo... What? Got an infection? Or maybe a moment's reflection. No, no, I've already come to terms. Was more curious if you ever inked anything more twisted. Oh, well. Was this one guy who wanted Fuck Night Corp. All caps. Forehead. Front and center. Whoa. Disgruntled ex-corpo? A suit at City Hall. So rest easy. I've been around a while. Seen worse.
How did you and Carrie meet? He never tell you? <laughs> it was 43 or 44. I can't remember. Carrie come to Vampis for a gig. At the time, I was head of club security. And, well, I make big fuck up. Some psycho get backstage, put a knife to Carrie's throat. But he talk him out of it. Pour him a tequila. When I finally get there, the crazy man was already out cold. If Carrie tell me, boss, what happened, it would be bad news for me. But he feeling generous that day. Keep his lips sealed. Carrie's a good man. A rare thing to find today. What have you got in stock? Various item. If you are looking to cause pain. So, went to that ofrenda. Yeah? How was it? It was alright. I think Jackie would have liked it. How's it going with Mama Wells? V, I was with Jackie, not his mother. We're both grieving, sure, but I think it's better we work through our grief far, far away from each other. Ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. Then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. Thought I was seeing things at first, but if other people saw him. He usually only appears right before someone dies. <laughs> Just kidding. No idea who that guy is. But I don't think a little meditation would hurt, either. Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. Wanna meditate too? No. Wanna read his tarot. Wanna read my tarot? Sure thing. The Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. He is a grave threat. The devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. Oh, watch out. I'm glad you understand. <laughs>